Hello everybody, something a little bit different today. I've got two amps here. I've got the Blackstar ID Core Stereo 20 and the BWM Chimp Valve Amp. Now, obviously they're completely different amps. This one's a cyber amp, so to speak. It's got some built-in effects and a little bit of amp modeling in it. This one is just all valve. What you see is what you get, just uh, very basic controls and you get that lovely tube sound. So they're completely different amps and I thought let's just do a comparison. Now, before we begin, you're probably hearing a little bit of hum in the background there, quite an unpleasant background noise. That's because I'm using a splitter cable going into one guitar. So as the signal travels through each wire, you're going to get interactions between both and bad sound tends to get amplified, unfortunately. So anyway, let's kick it off. I'm going to turn the volume right down on the Black Star and we'll start just by listening to the bad monkey. <laughs> style guitar here, so middle of the road kind of quality guitar. As you'd expect with a nice valve amp, that's coming through beautifully warm. Okay, so let's flick it over now. I'm just going to pop that on standby. So we're getting nothing. And I've set this one. This one has six different amp models not based on any particular amp, it's just models that uh, the people at Blackstar have come up with as things that sounded good. The title of it is Clean Bright, which I thought might be a good place to start as far as similarities between uh, the two amps go. Looks like I might be a bit wrong though, because that really is a very different sound. I'm going to up the volume a little bit, um, can swivel the EQ just to warm it slightly. So as you can see, as you can hear, I should say, totally different sound. A little brighter, a little colder in the sound. Actually, I'm going to change the pickup setting on my guitar because that really is a bit too bright and springy for my liking. Ah, here we go. A little better there, it's still more spiky than the valve amp, I think. And you know, for a certain song that might be just the sound that you're looking for. Um, not quite matching the valve sort of tone though. I'm going to switch it to crunch mode with the gain turned right down. We'll need a bit more volume than that. Okay. Alright, we're warming up a little bit now. Okay, gonna fill with the EQ a little bit more. Hmm, I don't know, what do you think? Sound feels a little bit more compressed. Let's just turn the volume down on this one and Bring our BWM chimp back again. Yeah, it has more life in it. Change my pickup selector again. choice as far as controls go with the uh, with the big white monkey chimp amp here um, I think if you wanted to get more modulations and so forth obviously you've got to rely on effects pedals to do that and then of course you've got to think about whether you're going to be able to retain the tone that you're getting from the tubes given that you'll be using pedals <laughs> Sounding pretty good. Okay, let's switch back over to the Black Star again. Mm -hmm. 
I guess what you got to remember too, with amps like your Blackstar one, is that uh, you're paying for a whole bunch of different features. I mean, I've got six different effects I can use in there. I can store presets. It acts as a computer interface for USB recording. It does beautiful stereo sound. Um, so it's all about, uh, you know, where your priorities are and how your budget fits with these kinds of things, I suppose. <laughs> So yeah, it's a very different kind of tone there. Let's try turning the gain up and the volume down. And of course I can cheat a little bit and switch on the reverb. Switch on the reverb. Still a nice amp in anybody's book, I think. Blackstar amps have been getting a lot of very positive reviews and I'm certainly glad I bought this one. Um, what else can we do? Okay, let's turn... Before I had the clean bright setting, then we moved on to crunch, now I'm going to move to clean warm. Okay. So as, probably as far as sounding tube light goes, this is as close as the Blackstar is likely to get. <laughs> selector again. Alright, that's getting quite nice now. Alright, volume down, back to the chimp. And this is where it gets interesting because the Black Star then I think had a little bit more clarity, um, a bit more sparkly, some would say a bit colder in its sound. It's still getting lots and lots of warm richness. microphone from my little camera is going to pick that up but but yeah there's just something uh, it's almost like the sound is sort of fatter and uh, with a broader bandwidth I don't really know the technicalities but and I hate to keep relying on the term warm but that's really what the valve gives you it has a really nice ring to it um, quick comparison Okay, a bit more level, fiddle with the EQ again. Okay, so it looks like no one's going to be fooled into thinking that you're playing a, um, a tube based amp if you're using a modeling amp like this one. Um, but like I said before, look at all the benefits that you get. Look at all the effects and the other features. The, um, it's a bit lighter, stereo, etc. I know I've already been through them. I'm not, I'm not going to repeat all that again. Um, so where are your priorities? You want the warm richness of a tube amp. You might have to rely on um, some pedals, and you know you might end up carrying a considerably bigger and heavier kit. But yeah, it's certainly. Uh, Certainly a bright, rich sound from the from the BWM chimp, and of course that's just your en entry level kind of valve amplifier. It goes way beyond that. And over here, you've got your Black Star with all these wonderful features, lots of amp models. Don't have to carry anywhere near as many effects. That's just one of its um, more crunchy settings. It's actually quite a nice one. And of course, there's nothing to stop you using pedals with that as well. If you've got uh, like a tube driven multi effects unit, like a Zoom G7 or a Vox Tone Lab EX, another really nice tube pedal, you can team that up with the Black Star, see how that carries your sound along. But yeah, I'm just gonna, having just done that, I'm just gonna switch over for one last time to the chimp. So we're getting to some comparable sort of sound there. Black star. So there you have it. 
Blackstar ID Core 20, BWM Chimp, 5 watt amp. Completely different. They don't really meet in the middle, but there's something for everyone.